Councillor Kay Folks, folks, please. Councillor Kiefer. Uh, thank you, Your Worship. I, uh, I am going to support the motion. I believe that uh, staff and the residents and Councillor Montero in particular have been working for a resolution uh, to, the, uh, to the issue. Uh, Councillor Tucci brings uh, some interesting uh, points to the table, of which I am concerned, Your Worship, too. But I think what's happening with those points is st I know staff are working diligently with, uh, you know, the region and the province, and, and, uh, and there's legal issue issues and complications. I view this particular uh, motion as more of an infrastructure uh, a situation versus the garbage and the snow removal and things of that nature and even the taxation, if you want, Your Worship. But um, I, I find that, uh, I find that uh, something has to be done. It's taken a long time to get to this point. Uh, I don't believe that we are setting a precedent, Your Worship, so I will be supporting the motion. Thank you. <coughs> Councillor Abada. Thank you, Your Worship. Well, um, first of all, I think at the very least we should be supporting the motion that we have tonight over the December 5th one. And um, I also have a few questions through you to staff. All right, go ahead. Um, three of them, actually. Um, so uh, what, are, what is the chance of removing uh, the fire line meter? Like, what are the possibilities of us doing it as soon as possible? How much um, would an approximate cost be to remove one meter? Like, just a ballpark estimate. And if we had the city pay the full cost, how much of an increase to the water rates would be necessary? It's a, bit, it's a bit difficult at a public meeting when we're about to make a decision to answer yeah. all those. So I'm not suggesting we're not going to try. Okay, well, but maybe whatever, next time, maybe phone it in earlier. Whatever they're able suggesting. to do. So, Okay, Mr. Elliott, yeah. what you can answer, okay? Uh, yes, through the chair. Um, each condominium corporation or housing corporation has a different scenario of piping, uh, hydrant needs, services into the, into the property. Uh, so it would be a very different answer for each condominium that we would deal with. Uh, the elimination of a fire line meter really needs a, a reconstruction of their infrastructure on their property in, in entirety, maybe running new water lines, uh, possibly eliminating uh, different pipes and, and moving things out onto the city right-of-way or petitioning the city to take over their infrastructure, which again is riding that slippery slope of assuming those liabilities. So it's very difficult to actually answer that and that is why we looked at the grandfathering not being an option at this time because as we get to each one on a case-by-case -case basis we have to answer those questions and establish what is the best way to go and what is fair. Councillor Amada, are you okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Councillor Council, please. Thank you, Mayor Craig. Through you. And this is, I, I, I hear what Councillor Tucci has said and and I understand and I'm supportive of what he's trying to, the end result. But I do have a question to staff, and I'm yeah, wondering if you can help. Um, we, we had the first delegation suggest that when they first moved into their facilities, they were paying around 86 bucks a month. Now they're up to about 186. With this new uh, billing process, any thoughts as to what that would be, the monthly fee? Can you do quick math for Mr. me? Elliot? Yes, through the chair. As far as their overall monthly bill per unit, uh, that again is different based on how many units there are in each condominium. Um, what I would suggest is that for the increase in fee from, uh, what is it, $78 or $72 to 91, 92, it's a $20 increase that is being proposed that gets divided among the number of condominiums. So if there were 20 condominium units in it, it would be a dollar a month increase. Okay, okay, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Yep. Can Council I have a recorded vote on this, by the way? Yep. Councillor Price, please. Your Worship, I fully support uh, the new budget for the fire line meters <coughs> and would like to point out to the people that are here and anybody watching that the City of Cambridge doesn't charge for garbage collection. We don't pay for garbage collection. It's the region that looks after that when it's on their tax bill, not ours. All right, Councillor Montero, please. I was going to echo that. And then furthermore, the um, snow removal, uh, that snow removal is not an argument for here. We're comparing apples to oranges. Snow removal, I remove the snow on my driveway. I pay for it. I'll do it myself. The lighting, the lighting on my driveway, I pay for it too. So that argument is not really there. Let's deal with this. 
these are other things that we're comparing to this, which is not even the same. And I second for the recorded vote. Councilor Wolf. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I too will be supporting the motion and appreciate the work that staff and Councilor Montero has done. And uh, I think uh, it's making sort of a bad situation the best possible we can. Councilor Tucci. Yeah, Your Worship, uh, thank you. Uh, on that comment, the, the garbage collection, I know full well who provides the service and who charges for the service or whatnot, but any decision. Any decision we make at this council that affects the condominium owners are, is going to have an impact when the regional council is presented with delegations that say, you know, we're paying property tax for garbage collection and then we're paying it again through private service. So any decision coming out of here, let's not kid ourselves, is going to impact a regional council decision when the delegations go before them. The only other issue about this is, is we're, we're, we've got to talk about, and as, as I said, I, I understand uh, where the people are coming from, and the December 5th decision gave them some, gave, gave them some, uh, some relief. But on this particular decision tonight, uh, what, one thing that no one's talking about is the fact that the cost or the, or the loss in the revenue is now being absorbed by the general public who has had no say in the decision that you're about to make tonight. And so I'm going to go to the argument that I'll make when we deal with the water billing and the landlord-tenant issue. I'm going to be asking on that particular issue that the city absorb those losses. And the argument that is going to be coming from several of the council members, not Council Montero who's got a conflict, will be contrary to the argument that you're making on this particular issue. And I, what I'm saying is you, we're setting precedents, number one, and number two, we're treating different classes of people differently in this community and one day we're going to get challenged for it. So thank you. Any further comments from members?